The new update brings a new POI to the center of the map. And there is some crazy things that you can do with this. This new POI is named the Collider and it is in the very center of the map. Now with this update, there was also the removal of all cars from competitive. There's actually three still remaining that are broken down cars that you can throw wheels on, but all of the IO cars in competitive are now also removed. Now this means that a middle map position like the Collider is now even more powerful because there's less distance for you to rotate for further zones. Due to the positioning of this, it also blocks off the rivers to the east and the north side here, meaning that you can no longer use these for rotations or for fishing. Not that many people were really doing this anyway, but it's still a big nerf to these areas. Of course, everyone wants to know what's the loot like at this POI. So the draw spot has 17 henchmen chests, two slurp trucks, and 24 coolers. Now these are relatively evenly distributed across the map, across the kind of west, south, east, and north side. So the majority of the loot is around the outskirts of this, whereas the majority of the materials are down in the middle. There's also two supply drops, one on the east side and one on the west side as well. Remember, this is a guaranteed launch pad from these. So this draw spot has two guaranteed launch pads, which is pretty crazy. I find where you should land in the district distribution of this loot really interesting, however, because every side seems to have a strength. So if you want to take the west side, there's easy access to high ground, also included with a bunch of the IO chests, which is easy to grab. So I think there's five IO chests on the far west hand side. So if you grab this side, you're great on loot and you've got great positioning. If you grab the north side, there's obviously not as many IO chests there. However, there's this truck, which if you break has five coolers inside of it, which will instantly give you tons of chug splashes, heals, and basically anything else you could need. The south side has a Again, more IO chest, a couple more regular chests, but also has two slurp trucks. You're guaranteed to be 200 HP, and the far east side has two mythic bosses on it. So yes, both mythic bosses are now here, so you can get access to the mythic burst and also the mythic thermal AR, and they're both kind of on that east side. If you end up killing the one who has the thermal AR, it's a lot easier to then kill Sloan, who has the burst, since you're already going to have that powerful weapon. But we'll leave it up to the teams to decide what kind of the best route for that is. So it's pretty safe to say you can land at either side of these. I would probably recommend landing at the west side personally on that north hand side where you can get some of the higher up chests there's also a bunch of slurp barrels here then you can rotate to the north side to get some of those chug splashes too you do have to be wary here however because there is io bots all the way around this if you knock out one of these you'll be guaranteed basically a blue stinger with some smg which is super useful but always just be careful if you need to find where the rest of the loot is or some of the contesting players that are around there is a recon scanner down in the center towards the southwest hand side that again very similar to command cavern will just show you where all all of the loot and of course the other players are around. As you'll notice flying around here there is a ton of cannons here however. Now in this update today in competitive you can no longer actually fire these on the right hand side so you're not gonna be able to do the normal shot but what you can do is just fire yourself so you can still use this as a sort of mobility and trust me we will come back to this later. Around the map there's also dotted launch pads just basically anywhere you could imagine there's just launch pads everywhere so in arena great mobility if you're trying to get away from other players. If the zones come around here make sure you know these locations because you can box up on them and use them for later rotates. Now one of the interesting dynamics of this area is the fact that all of the loot is kind of around those outside walls like I mentioned at the higher up buildings around but the majority of the materials are actually down below. Notice how many huge bricks are down here. It's so easy to get cat brick and cat metal here, but the problem is you have to go deep down and be vulnerable while doing this. So I think what we're going to see is a lot of players just grabbing that metal and tunneling their way there to make sure they're covered and protected. You'll notice this massive slipstream in the middle, which can also send you very high up into the air. Now this can take you basically 600 meters in any direction you want to go. That's the rough distance. So if you want to plan out and understand where you can go with this, 600 meters it is. Now this is where this crazy bug comes in that I showed at the start of this video. When you bounce off the center of this gravity area, on release you got a low gravity effect. That means if you then fired yourself from a cannon into this, you could fly absolutely miles, including out of the map. Now there were some ways to strategically do this to fly into tilted towers, and also you could fly into some of the hills on the far sides of the map as well, with a lot of precision. Only a few hours after release, this has actually already been patched, but you can still use this to your advantage. If you do this properly without the low gravity effect, you can still fire yourself pretty far. And this seems like a relatively safe rotation. You can get to Tilted Towers, you can get over the Spider-Man bridge to the northwest, and some other angles you can line up get you to other places. So you might not be able to fire yourself off the map anymore, but that's a good thing. Now this POI is amazing, but it's certainly not the best on the map yet. This video right here will cover Command, Cavern, and how Malabuka and Mustache play that, alongside some of the secrets to their success in the mid and late game in FNCS. 